Um, you can go ahead. You are being beamed in here. There is part of the audience. Okay, the audience is back. I see everybody. Hello, everybody. Are we ready to go? Go right ahead. Your presentation time, and we'll take some uh, questions for you as soon as you're done with your presentation. Thank you. Okay, this is fantastic. Good evening, everybody. It's pretty amazing. A, a couple of old guys like Paul and I put together new technology. It's wonderful. Anyway, uh, I'm very honored to be invited to join you all this evening. And I want to especially thank Paul Domain for his help with the Skype connection. Our state has been up to task for the past year. Mr. Walker and his legislative leaders and the full president's agenda torn Wisconsin apart. And I tell you, it makes me angry. For years, I've been able to represent Wisconsin when I travel around the country and even around the world. And they say, you're from Wisconsin. What a great progressive place. How proud you are. And I've been proud until now. And I see what that agenda, that lack of respect, have done to our state. In the many years that I've been able to represent you as Secretary of State, I've been able to do many things I care a lot about with environmental issues and education. But the one thing I'm most proud of, I think recently, is when Governor Walker signed that bill to strip our state of many of the, the rights and privileges and respect that we deserve, I told him, no, I will not publish that law and you want me to. I will wait as long as I can to give the people of Wisconsin a chance to adjust to these radical changes, to give the 14 honorable people who went to Illinois an opportunity to come up with a strategy, and to give teachers and school boards and municipalities an opportunity to, to understand what the effect of this draconian law would be on them. We've learned that Mr. Walker and his folk do not respect the progressive tradition, including support for education, the right of citizens to vote, rights of women and their doctors to control their own reproduction. But, and I say but, there's been no clear example of their lack of respect, except what they've done now in the Native American community types. These are rights which after 10 years of struggle should be very clear to everyone. They are sovereign rights, and Walker does not understand the need to respect them. Over my many years of public service, I've been privileged to work many of the tribal nations of Wisconsin. I remember the days when Paul Domain worked in the governor's office and our joint battles to stop destruction of the environment the mining and other schemes to threaten our precious air and water. I remember well the fights to last time in Ladysmith and Brandon. The Navy people worked to protect their heritage. I was honored to join many of you at your water ceremonies and other tribal events. And I thank you again for those invitations for the many years. Now, how we must work together again in a fight an important fight to return Wisconsin to her progressive tradition and respect those important values. My campaign will not be about big money and as on television. It will be about restoring stability, working together and listening to all the people and all the important aspects of our state, and to renew, to renew the Wisconsin idea, which is about bringing together the indigenous values and talents of our state to find solutions to our problems, not the right-wing agenda of Alex and the Pope Brothers money. But most of all, most of all, as our governor, I will respect everyone's rights. I and many others think that of several good Democratic candidates, I have the best chance to be Governor Walker. But I can only do this with your help, which I would be honored to have. I care passionately about all these issues that I've worked so hard to do for many years. Education, the environment, women's rights, Native American sovereignty and the respect for that. These are things I care deeply about. 
and I can talk about them for hours. In this fact, I want to listen to you, hear your questions, hear your comments. If we don't get around to this tonight, please go to my website, send me an email, I'll try to answer you. It's double help, help, and I look forward to hearing from you. And again, I thank you very much for your invitation here this evening. someone has a question here, so you're going to see me walking around a little bit, uh, but hang on one minute. Does anyone have a question of uh, Mr. LaFollette? Same question you had before? Other questions? Okay, we don't have any questions from the floor. Doug, if you've got uh, anything to sum things up, we, we sounds like we're coming to an end here. Thank you for joining with us and give us one little goodbye uh, notation and we will keep in touch with you. Okay, I want to thank you all again and uh, we have a big challenge ahead of us. I have never seen a more desperate situation for our state of Wisconsin and together we can change it. But we have to work very hard for the next few weeks. I would appreciate your help, your ideas. I will always listen to the people of Wisconsin. Thank you again and good night. Thank you.